morning folks. Today's soap is brought to us from Fuzzy Face Soaps. This one here is scented uh, spearmint. It's a tallow based soap. That's what it looks like there inside the tin. Uh, this one here started out to be in 3.4 ounces and this does contain menthol. Um, it does. It smells just like spearmint. It is really nice scent. The uh, started this morning with the uh, manually pre-shave uh, oil this morning as it goes for the prep as well as the hot towel to the face got the uh, Allen block what's left of it with no rubber band this morning and I've got Humphrey's uh, witch hazel that I've got uh, menthol and peppermint in there and <laughs> the top row of the day <laughs> is going to be eucalyptus mint and this is the glacial version of it and uh, this one here is it, it packs a punch for sure. Uh, blade of the day, Voscod. And I've got it in a Gillette Slim adjustable. Got it on, uh, yep, setting nine. I've been shaving with uh, this setup since Sunday. And uh, I leave the uh, setting at, on nine throughout the whole shave. The uh, lather is whipped up with a Cremo cream uh, horsehair brush and uh, it's not a drippy not real bad it's not real wet but it's still a damp lather there in the bowl not quite a bit whipped up in that little bowl like I said I've been using this uh, setup since Sunday I uh, decided to see how this would work how many days in a row using a adjustable shaver like a, a Gillette Slim based set it on nine leave it on a nine all three passes and using a Voscod to see how the uh, shaves would go in other words would my face start to <laughs> complain about uh, having it on setting nine for this uh, length of time and uh, for me for what I'm used to in the way of a shave uh, it works quite well for me just leaving it on setting nine. Uh, get very close shaves. So far, <laughs> in other words, trying not to jinx myself. Uh, I've had no nicks, cuts, weepers, nothing like that. I can feel the blade, you know, working its way through the whiskers, but it's not pulling or tugging. Uh, just a, a very close shave by the time it's all done and over with. In other words, very close to being BBS without having to put out much effort. Probably the the more effort, I guess you might say, is this strip of whiskers I've got grown right through here. Uh, it takes a little bit of effort just to make sure you get all that, but outside of that, it's a pretty easy going shave. Matter of fact, I'm um, going to go ahead and get started here. This one here is a 1963 model, A1, in other words it was uh, manufactured in the first quarter. Mice have been using this uh, setup since Sunday and um, besides how close of a shave that I get leaving on setting 9. Is that eucalyptus mint? Probably was the most surprising part of the shave. Um, <laughs> especially the very first time I put it on. Now that I've used it a few times, I know what to expect and be prepared. But you're talking about making your eyes squint and blink a lot. <laughs> it definitely does that. It is a, uh, I would have to say this scent is probably, this uh, aftershave is probably not one for everybody. That's just a scent. That's not what it does after the fact. It's just a scent alone. It's not a mild scent at all. It's pretty stout.
these blades I found uh, at a very good price on eBay through my travels of uh, hunting for uh, particular aftershaves that are uh, not necessarily easy to find here in the States. And uh, you can find Brute. In other words, in your typical, here it's usually in a green plastic bottle, Brute aftershave. But if you're wanting one in the glass like you see uh, that you might find across the pond, in other words, uh, you have to you'll have to hunt for those. And while I was busy doing that on eBay, I found a uh, the it's a in Portugal the the shop is, and uh, found a couple of aftershaves there as well as they were selling a, a hundred pack of uh, Voscod for three ninety nine. I couldn't pass it up. I had to get some. I ordered a couple of them. In other words, that's a very good buy for these blades. You can see that this, uh, that's another thing too about this soap. I've, I've used it before, as you can tell by looking at the tin. The uh, soap does really well for me, providing slickness and, and especially with the DE, it does give me cushion. It's been quite a bit of fun. The other night, um, it would be Tuesday night, uh, my son was getting ready for his first day of school for this year, and so he was going to shave. And he used the, uh, a lot of the same setup I'm using right now, with the exception of he's got a uh, Gillette flare tip, and uh, using treat blades, silver, and uh, he topped off with this uh, aftershave. <laughs> There's a little bit of hollering going on. <laughs> he says he does like the, uh, the witch hazel, but the aftershave, <laughs> he was not prepared for that, that effect that was taking place. <laughs> He was talking about how his face, his eyes were watering. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of a cruel trick, I imagine, huh? <laughs> Not preparing him for what he was getting ready to get into. <laughs> With this uh, eucalyptus mint aftershave, it is something else. It's a, uh, it's the eucalyptus that's in there that makes it so much different as it goes for making your eyes water. In my opinion, it's um, it, it's it's pretty stout. That's the reason why I don't think it'll be for everybody. That that scent stuck around for quite a while. Doesn't bother me any. It definitely helps out with any kind of you got any sinus problems. It definitely will help out there. But I don't think everybody's going to appreciate it though. If you're familiar with being gay or icy hot or anything like that that's what my wife related the scent to but shaving with a uh, shave bed I'm used to I guess you might say that blade feel and with this uh, shaver here on setting nine that's how it feels to me, so I'm kind of accustomed to that kind of blade feel. By the time I get done, though, my face is pretty smooth. There's not much, in other words, it would take just a little bit more effort to get BBS just to pick up a little bit here and there but a very close shave on a setting nine
and this blade does seem to work well for me on this setting. And to find it at $3.99 for a 100 pack, that is an awesome buy. Like I said, I couldn't pass it up. I had to order a couple of them. It's not that I need any more of them. I've already, I did buy a 100 pack a while back, but I have to say, at that price, you can't hardly pass up blades like that. Face feels really good. Tallow soap. Not that a vegan soap can't give you a uh, uh, nice, smooth, comfortable shave because I've got some that do. But the tallow soap on the post shave feel does a really good job. My face sure does feel pretty darn smooth. It feels soft. Doesn't feel dried out. Well moisturized. I've been enjoying these shaves. In other words, it's been been really nice. It's been a while since I had used my uh, Gillette Slim. Thought it might have been time to break it out and take a few shaves with it. For the most part, on these shaves, yesterday I did have a little bit of stinging on my neck. Probably because I got carried away trying to catch a few little hair whiskers here and there but it uh I only get just a little bit of stinging with this right back over here today I'll try to make sure I don't forget to use the witch hazel I guess so uh guess you might say involved with the uh, aftershave sometimes when it's uh when I know what I'm getting ready to, to experience kind of forget about the witch hazel I think I've got just the right amount of menthol and peppermint in this witch hazel. I know I've mentioned it before. It's just, it's not over the top. It's present. You can feel it, but it's not to the point where, in other words, your eyes are watering and nothing like that. I think I got it just right. It took me, what, three tries? I think it took three tries. You had to get it where I needed it for it to be. But here it is, eucalyptus mint. I did look on the uh, website. He does still have some of this available. I don't know if he carries this year round or not. But uh, you don't have to get this very close to your nose for you to smell it. It's uh, that, that scent is very present. And I do use a, a fair amount of it. Like I said, it won't be everybody's scent, that's for sure. I, it is. It is strong. <laughs> I guess you might say for me, if you're looking at comparing it to something like Cryogen or uh, Wet the Face Fusion, uh, anything along those lines, uh, Fine Snake Bite, um, it definitely rates right up there with them, if not at the top. I mean, this is... This is some pretty stout uh, <laughs> aftershave. Great for those winter mornings to get you woke up and ready to go. <laughs> or in the summer to help cool you off. And around here, here lately, the heat index has been anywhere from 110, 114 temperature, 99, 100 degrees. It's been pretty darn warm. And yeah, this was perfect for this week. Had a really nice shape. Boy, this is talking about a cooling effect. Boy, it is definitely cooling my face. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe and smooth shaves to you.